So if you're watching this video, chances are you're interested in switching to or trying a thumb release. This one here is a knock on knock to it. It has a lot of adjustment in it, uh, but nothing crazy, you know, nothing complicated. And there's, there's a lot of videos and especially on um, John Dudley's page, uh, the school of knock. He explains how to go through this. I'm just going to talk about a little bit how I set mine up and uh, yeah, it's, it's really improved my shooting. I have nothing but good things to say about it. So first thing uh, that you, you'll definitely have to adjust is your thumb position. And I like to set mine where whenever I'm at my anchor point, my little, I call it my, my trigger. Let's just say that it's right there in the meat of my thumb. So that way, when I'm back there on the back wall and I'm pulling through my shot, I'm not slapping it with the, with the tip of my thumb. I'm kind of letting the skin right here kind of load up on it. And as I'm slowly pulling back, you know, this shoulder and elbow, slowly easing back, you're building tension right here. And that's what activates the release. You're not slapping the release. I've seen a lot of people taking hammer on it. That's, that's not right. And one thing that will really help you learn how to use one of these and what I done, which I don't have it. It's in the house. Um, is the knock on silverback that teaches you to get back on that back wall and pull through your shot. It, it, it will get you out of the habit of snapping and target panic and all that. So once you get on your back wall and you let your safety off with the silverback, you ease through your shot. Same principles apply with this, except for you're using your thumb here or about the middle of your thumb in order to load up that tension. And as you load it up, it snaps. Now, it does come with Allen wrenches, which I don't have them with me because I'm not gonna adjust this thing. It's perfect right now. It did take me a little bit of tuning in order to get it to where I could shoot it proficiently. Um, I spent about, I mean, probably about six hours of just shooting, practicing, shooting, practicing, shooting, practicing until I got it to my desired crispness and this uh, trigger part right here moved perfectly to my finger. Now my brother shot it and he's got a little bit longer thumb. He, he, you know, it's, it's harder for him because of where mine's adjusted for me, but you know, we could easily adjust it to make it work for him. It's simple to do. Um, right here, you, uh, you loosen your set screw here and you adjust this in or out to adjust your trigger crispness. And one thing that I like to do is if you're going to use a release like this, get in front of a blank bell and just execute shots all day. Don't worry about where you're going. I just get up there, get on the back wall, close my eyes, and I feel the shot. And get that, you know, get that, uh, that rhythm going and just do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of shots. Seems like a lot, but if you want to be good with them, you're going to have to put in the practice. So that is a knock on, knock to it. And uh, we'll film some slow mos right quick and let you guys see some shot executions with it. So let's do it. Knock to it. All right, so we're going to take a couple of shots. And uh, the bow is a 70 pound knock on edition PSC NTN Evo. Uh, just got some new threads on it here, some new strings from the Archery Shack. They are in Anderson, South Carolina. Great guys, you can find them online. 
Um, so, yeah. Also running the Riddance stabilizer bar. The longest one that they sell, I think it's 31 inches. And a Torx back bar. So, <sighs> let's practice this release a little bit. And I'll show you guys how I get on the back wall. Everybody's anchor point is going to be a little bit different. So, you know. I do have a nose button on here, which helps get to the same spot every time. I shouldn't blow through this target this close, but. All right, so see, my thumb is completely away. From the, uh, the trigger. So I'm going to gently place my thumb. on it and then pull through the shot so where my thumb ended up at was right there not here right here i want to adjust my sight because i don't want to hit that that area <laughs> i'd hate to bust one at 20 yard or 20 yard at three foot sorry <laughs> Okay, so oh yeah. So we're not jerking the trigger, we're just pulling through the shot here. The tip of my thumb never touches that release. Find another spot to aim at. I'm gonna do a downhill shot here. Make sure the bubble's level. And just letting her go. Ooh, that'd been a bad day. And I've done this right here, just hours on, hours on, hours on, hours on end. Sometimes when I come out here to the range, I don't even shoot a target or shoot, you know, shoot at a, a target face. I just come out here and blank bail. Just get up close, 5, 10 foot, and I just shoot. And I just release the arrow. And sometimes I do it at my house. I have an apartment, and uh, I'll set me up a little target right there, a little rag target or something. And I'll just get in front of it and I'll just let the release go all day. And I'll just practice shot execution. Nice. I am shooting all over the bale, of course, because I do not want to hit arrows. And the good thing about this release, you take this thing hunting, you clip it in. You can have it hanging on the deer stand or hanging on the tree or whatever. Your release is there, ready to go. Um, I would like to try this with gloves to see how it feels with a pair of gloves on. Because right now it's pretty chilly, I ain't going to lie. And my hands are about froze. It's probably, uh, I'd say in the 30s, high 30s. Um, it's early morning, so it is pretty chilly. <clears throat> All right. So. Nice. Now I've used, I've used wrist straps. I've used um, back tension releases, hinge releases, but I think right now the thumb release has been about the best one that I've used thus far. Let's pull them arrows out and uh, shoot a little bit more here.
All right, guys, so uh, if you're interested in trying a thumb release, I am by no means sponsored by Knock On or nothing like that, but it does fit good in my hand, so I try to promote it. Um, I like it. I like all of their products, fast shipping. Um, everything that I've gotten from them thus far has been excellent. I have no complaints. Um, yeah, that's the knock to it. I know in my video, it, you know, my, my arm's a little bit low like that. I've got a messed up elbow, so that's just where I have to shoot. So I've had to learn to, to do it like that. It's really hard for me to extend my, my arm out. But, um, yeah, I have nothing but good things to say. It's a great release. We'll do uh, one more shot, and I think that'll be good for this video. One of my pink arrows. If you're wondering why they're pink, it's because they're easier to see on the on these uh, field round targets. If you're back at 60 yard, that really stands out. It's really bright, so that's why I shoot it. I've had a lot of people ask me, why are you shooting pink arrows? Like, Man, because I want to be able to see them. <laughs> Make sure everything looks good. I always do a little look over. I feel so good. I think we'll do one more. And uh, if this video helped anybody out, Make sure to like and subscribe, share the video. Um, you know, I'm not out here trying to get rich off of YouTube or nothing, but it sure would be nice to help fund the, <laughs> the archery. Oh. You guys are watching the Palmetto Outdoor Experience. And um, if you have, you know, any more questions about this thing, check out the uh, the School of Knock. And Mr. Dudley will really go through how to adjust and operate this thing. But hopefully this video helps somebody out. Hope everybody has a good day. God bless. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.